that was it boys what's going on guys it's your boy the iguana man with our friend iguana ninja and today guys we are going to be doing some iguana removal with air rifles we have multiple jobs to go on to today so I hope you guys are ready for today's epic adventure. It's the summertime, things are really, really hot. The iguanas have been active. Residents have been frustrated with them eating their plants. So it's up to us to go out there, teach them a fat lesson, and put them in, in the, the bag. bag. So guys, we will see you guys out there on the job. Let's go, baby. So right now we are at a new job. We're just loading up our air rifle. And one of the objectives today, guys, figure out what these iguanas are doing out here and see if we can take them out. A lot of concerned residents are uh, complaining about these lizards roaming around everywhere. They planted a bunch of landscape and apparently guys, these lizards are attracted to the fresh blooming flowers. So today it's up to me and my team to see if we can find them, wrangle them up, put them in the bag. There is a bounty on every single iguana's head in this area. So we have to work diligently, strategically, we gotta see if we can put them in the bag. So let's load this up and I will see you guys out there in the field and see if we can get them. Let's go. We are the Iguana Bounty Hunters. <laughs> guys, look at these roots on this plant. Growing around the tree like this, amazing. So guys, I think we have spotted our first Iguana. I see his head right there at the base of the tree. Uh, we're gonna sneak up on him, see if we can get a nice, clean, humane shot. Then we're gonna put it in the bag. Stay tuned. Got him. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Look at that, guys. Deadly accuracy with this scoped rifle, okay? There's different rifles you can use. PCP, brake barrel. We have the brake barrels on today's job. And as you guys can see, we just landed our first target. Look at that right there. Nice, healthy, female red iguana. This caught her a super fat less. This is a big girl right here. Look at the shot placement right there. Look at that shot placement right there. Right in the money, guys. One hit, insta-kill, in the bag. Look right, oh my goodness, look right over there. There's, those are some big ones. Those are some big ones. I think one is a bird and I think one is a giant iguana. Guys, there's only one way to find out. Let's follow this path, see if we can get a safe shot and humanely euthanize them. Remember guys, safety is always first. Right? We don't recommend anybody coming out here shooting iguanas with pellet guns unless you are a trained professional. Me and my colleague Iguana Ninja, we have years and years of iguana removal experience. We're trained professionals and we are hired on this job, okay? Let's see if we can get them. So just no average person can come out here with guns like you're doing it. So Unless you want the SWAT team called on you. Exactly. So you watching at home, make sure you're contracted and allowed to be out there to take out these animals. Absolutely. Because you never know, we live in the gun shine state, guys. There could be an angry, angry customer, an here. angry resident. I'm taking them here, right? Yep. But guys, like I said, this is the gun shine state. So potentially a, you know, an angry resident that, you know, doesn't like what we're doing could come out here and uh, apply some pressure, apply some force, y'all. And we want to, you know, stay clear of that. We don't want to cause any problems. We're only here to help. Right here, 
That was it, boys. So you guys seen that right there? One hit, critical shot, right through the kill zone. Money shot, guys. He's died. He's out. We're gonna go see if we can get a recovery on him real quick. As you guys can see, you're looking in the water. You really can't see him. But if you look right over there, you can see his body, guys. He is completely done. One hit, humane, euthanized shot. Now Ninja's gonna go see if he can put him in the bag. He's right there, Ninja, right, right in front of you. <laughs> I told you, it's it's hard, guys. Even dead or guys, dead or alive, their camouflage is usually always spot on. Look at this bad boy right here. Look at this. Watch this. Look at that. Excellent, Ninja. Guys, the bounty for these iguanas out here is going up, guys, because the activity is going up, the heat is going up, and the residents are getting more fed up. So, we have been contracted for several different jobs, guys. Stay tuned. We're gonna be going to more jobs and we're gonna be bagging some more iguanas. All right, guys, so we actually spotted some more iguanas right over here. And we're gonna see if we can take that big boy out right there, okay? Gotta make sure there's no cars passing. Clear. Clear, I'm gonna hug up right up on this tree. I'm gonna go for the one hit kill shot, y'all. Making sure everything's safe. Yep. Exactly, exactly. And we got a perfect backdrop. You see how, where he's at? He's right on the bank. Okay, he's right on the bank, guys. Let's see if we get a kill shot. Spreading the juices, man. Oh yeah. Let you know that there's food. Ring the dinner bell. A little camouflage action. Yep. Once they go in there, it's a wrap. Yep. Yep. Trapping is a nice, effective method. Catch critters. You can set them and forget them. You don't gotta sit there when they run away. You just catch them when you're not there. So. You're able to be at multiple places at once. More traps you got, you know? Very, very efficient, very effective. And especially when they're all skittish and you have uh, they're kind of used to you at this point, you got to try different methods. Exactly. I bet they love this water right here. They got everything they need. Water to drink plants to eat and trees to climb dude oh yeah it's the perfect environment for him back here but these homeowners i mean look how beautiful this is back here they don't want a bunch of iguanas defecating and eating all their stuff absolutely not dude i mean look how much money they probably put into maintaining this and uh you know they don't want it all to go to waste absolutely not guys a lot of time a lot of effort a lot of money and a lot of peace of mind being lost because people can't even come out in their pool because there's iguanas everywhere, guys. Some of us can tolerate them, but for the average person here in South Florida, they don't like them, guys. They do not like them. Not Potentially one. pooping everywhere. You got to step in the poop. You got to swim with the poop. Potential salmonella. Oh, yeah. Personally, I might not mind a couple of iguanas in my backyard as my pets, but... Um, they cause a lot of car they cause a lot of problems, y'all. A lot of cleanup. A lot of cleanup. A lot of cleanup. It's like having a dog, you know. It's Times like ten. It's like <laughs> having a llama. A llama. <laughs> Pissing and pooping everywhere. Exactly. All right, y'all. The traps are set. We'll come back. Check up on them and see what we got. Yeah, buddy.